First and foremost, our mission is to engage the community. We have classes and camps that are offered um, during the summer months. Um, we have a, con a concert series which reaches about 10,000 people. It's a summer concert series outdoors just north of the uh, Arts Council. Um, this uh, particular exhibition uh, is about Down Syndrome, individuals with Down Syndrome. It really humanizes um, and creates a different perspective of how to view somebody with a certain condition or a certain difference. We have an extensive public art collection, uh, and now we have over 70 sculptural elements in the collection. So the cell phone tour was created to sort of re reintroduce the collection to the community. We talked to each of the artists uh, who created a piece of public art and asked them to tell us a little bit about the inspiration behind their work. Uh, so when you're visiting a piece of public art, there is a sign that has the cell phone number or the telephone number uh, on the sign plus a QR code. So you can actually interact uh, with the piece of sculpture at the moment that you're seeing it. River boxes are very unique. They're interactive pieces of public art. They can be small or large vessels. There's a little bit of a game aspect to it. So you're told what park it's in and you're given some hints and we give you the GPS coordinates for it. We use the, um, you know, the mapping features on our phone. There are clues, there are hints on there. We're we'll calling that up so we can actually find uh, the river box. And then once we did, all of the information about the artist, the story of the river box, the meaning behind it, is all a part of the riverboxes.org website. One of the things we're thinking about and working on is raising social awareness to actually shift people's perspective about how they see things. So the art is a visual representation of uh, allowing somebody to look at things, to look at things differently.